What's going on guys? So it has been a while since you've seen a video from me. Uh, so first off, I should apologize for that delay. Um, if you are familiar with Revival, you'll know that I was taking the month as uh, the month of May as a break, going on vacation, just kind of clearing my head, getting, uh, you know, just getting stress-free and all that. And uh, today, June 1st, I am 100% back and we just released the update. Uh, so along with the update, let's... Uh, well, I, don't, I don't even remember what I was doing on APUG. It's been it's been too long, <laughs> but um, we uh, we have a new event as well. New player, uh, not necessarily a player appreciation event. It is to celebrate our one year of revival. We started revival in June of last year, and we have officially made it one year. Now um, I know that there's probably an asterisk next to that because technically the last two months have been pretty slow, but uh, we're not dead yet, and it never went down. It has been up the entire time. And uh, we are uh, we are again moving forward. So let's uh, let's talk about all the updates in this video. That's what you want to hear, right? You love updates. Go to farming. Then go out. Let's uh, show off the puck shop, the puck point shop. Um, farming. So to get to the puck point shop, let's. Uh, this is the. We'll, we'll, well, you know what? Actually, let me let me let me go in order. Let me go in order. Let me get it, getting ahead of myself. So let's go with the updates from uh, May. Second, so these were the, the last updates I did before my break, and uh, we. Oh, I'm dying. Why am I dying? Um, so, these are the last updates I did before my break. Um, you can see some fixes here and whatnot. The elite zone is added; has its own NPC. It's got some other features. Still needs some improvements, but um, all all of that is. Uh, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go on Jamie in a, in a little bit and show you. Uh, so the next thing we have is the raid shop, which let me just show you that in game, I guess, rather than trying to get that picture lined up. Uh, so raids was adjusted. And I talked about this in a video before, but it has officially happened now. So, um, yeah, you can start experiencing it. So go to Mexico. You can go. You get get there from any direction. You don't have to do it from Max. But I'm just saying that's where I'm going from. Uh, basically, just find your way to Norbo Light, and then you'll see this new teleport mount, Quinamorton, or however you pronounce that. Uh, if you kill the other ones, Tecton, Vespula, and Mutadel, you'll get raid points now, and you can also, um, you know, get raid, raid points other ways. But those are the main ways to get raid points. And the main thing you're looking for is this ancient tablet, which will give you access to Vasa. So you need this to kill Vasa now, and you can do that from right up here right up here and I love how people don't ever read the damn updates uh, some of the other, other options is why you can buy the prayer scrolls you can get pet gamble which is for the omelet pet the omelet pet is technically added now you can get it this way um, and then the main thing with Vasa if you're familiar, familiar with the changes we were going to make you can uh, everyone gets a loot now every single person who does damage to Vasa will get a loot so it's actually gonna be a lot more massable um, you, can, you can definitely expect some live stream masses. I have to get a tablet myself. I don't have one. Um, there's also a possibility that it can break upon uh, new special attacks. Vasa has been updated, and um, I'll just kind of let you figure that out for yourself. But uh, uh, it hasn't been updated to crazy amounts, but uh, you, can, um, you can expect a lot of changes. Uh, so with the mass dropping for everyone, it should be a lot more interesting. So I'll leave both of these links in the description below if you want to take a read, because there's a lot of little things you might want to know about. Uh, for example, these rare loot balloons, uh, it spawns every six hours, so it's going to take a while. It's going to take like five and a half hours for you to, for me to show you. Um, it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Rare loot balloon that spawns. There's ten possible locations. I think some people know them. Um, I'll probably make a full video on it just so everyone knows it, and it's not like it's not like a small thing where only a few people can abuse it because the only people that know. And then the last thing was two very new, uh, two new very rare items have been added to Master Clues. Uh, so we'll go with the first one is the monkey. It goes in your backpack. It acts as an Ava's. I believe it has the same stats as an Ava's, or is that in the similar? I honestly don't know if that's the Ava's device or a similar. I hope I did a similar because otherwise, I don't know. But um, either way, it, it, it actually does act as an Ava's. It'll go. The monkey will go fetch your arrows and shit. So, and these are very rare items up on the, they're, I think they're actually a little bit rarer than Third Age. Um, not much rarer, but, and then you have this shield, the Paladin Shield, which, um, if you look at the bonuses, are pretty good. It's very comparable to a Dragon Dagger, but it has a lot more defense and has a lot prayer. So, these items are, um, 
pretty valuable. I believe they're roughly four bill or so. I'm not 100% sure on that because, as I said, I did go on a month-long break, and that update came out at the beginning of it. And I don't—I never made a video on that update, so I don't think you guys would even know about that if you're not playing—if you're not playing the server. Um, so then, with this update, the main thing is just some fixes from the last uh, couple bits, um, and then the event, the puck point shop, which we will get to the puck point shop now. We talked about that earlier. Puck points, uh, think of it as a loyalty point system. Uh, so there was an issue with Numulite. Uh, not necessarily Numulite, it was more so the Donator store. Donator points were really easy to obtain, which is kind of how we built the server. We wanted that. To, we wanted you to be able to don get, you know, get Donator statuses, earn all your Donator banks without actually having to pay, you know, without being forced to pay um, that money and whatnot. We, you know, we, and we understand that not everybody can do that. And that's, we wanted to make a server that wasn't really pay to win. Um, the problem was it was really easy to grind out raid boxes through other methods, Numulite and Fossils being one of the main methods. Um, so to sort of count, we couldn't really raise the prices of donator items because obviously they're linked to actual prices. Um, so if we made it like, let's say we made the raid box $60 to make it more balanced in game, it's 60 bucks now. No one's going to buy that. That's insane. We wouldn't even want to charge. I mean, that's a fucking video game. Go buy a, what's new? What's the new video game right now? Uh... I heard, what, what, you guys hear about this Detroit game that looks like super crazy on PlayStation? I, I hear that, that that's pretty cool. Either way, uh, yeah. Um, so think of it as a loyalty point system. You can see prices in here are pretty crazy. Um, people are wondering how you get puck points. Um, I mean, there's, like, at the moment, the, the methods are limited, but obviously over time we'll increase more methods. Um, any 99 you get, you should get puck points. 500 mils, you should get pug points. Mystery boxes, instead of giving donator credits, now give pug points. So, and that's a different change right there. Um, there's going to be a ton of other methods, like, for example, this event right now, the Superior Excavate, if it does spawn, will give you pug points. Um, I have a command that gives people pug points, so you can always expect that to happen every once in a while. Um, voting is going to, I don't think it does right now, but there's going to be tons of different methods to get pug points. Just think of them as loyalty points. We've had pug points on some of my other servers in the past. And uh, to get there um, and trade, this is the shop. I also redid the interface for the quest tab. You'll notice that looks a little different. It includes more of your points, including my puck points. So we've got 1901. Can we buy a single thing? I mean, we could of the shitty stuff, but let's just save it. That's really the, how you'd probably want to play the points. I'm going to add more items to the shop as well. This was kind of just like a um, like a first draft. And if, obviously, if you have any suggestions, feel free. Um, and, uh, yeah, added... Uh, Thief points here, raid, raid points. Raid points as well, you already saw those. Oh, Dragon Claws, nice. And then the interface still works. So let's get to the Skvids. Go to colon colon event. And uh, you got some Skvids. Do I need to add more? I should, I freaking need to add more. We just updated, so how many people do we have? 23, and I think like almost every single Skvid is being attacked. <laughs> and this is going to get way worse once we start gaining players. Alright, so I'll, have to, I'll increase the amount here. Um, let's, uh, fucking gear up. But, uh, basically, just kill Skivids. It's very similar to the, um, Thanksgiving event, I believe it was, where you just killed the Chompies and shit. And that was one of the better ones in terms of, like, just everybody did it the entire time the event was out. Um, this is pretty good in that regard as well, because you can get, um, a, you have a, you have a 1 in 100 chance of spawning a su superior Skivid. So let me show you the drop rates, or the drops, rather. Skivid. So you have the normal Skivid right here, which is what you're killing. Um, not amazing, but it's really going to add up over time. And then the reward crystal is the, like, it's it's basically like a mystery box. I'll open up a couple. A couple. And, um, just think of it like a mystery box. Uh, people have been wondering what this is. It is a pet. You can probably take a really good guess on what pet it is. Um, it had to happen. I had to do it. I had to do it to him. So, there it is. Um... And then everything else is just pretty simple. If you're not familiar with grapes, they actually have a pretty good value on here, so you can sell them. And then, if you have, uh, if you get lucky, you have a 1 in 100 chance of spawning a superior skivid, which has a lot, a lot of juicy drops. All of the mounts are pretty much, uh, are high, so don't, don't, you know, don't go, oh, I'm going to get one mana raid, so you'd get 500. Um, I think some items have limits, but you, you, you get my point. Either way, you're going to get some good luck. And then, obviously, you have these really crazy rare drops, such as the normal items you get from superior creatures, and then you can get any possible jar. So if you're a person that was grinding jars, um, for example, my uh, <laughs> my duo Iron Man, <laughs> uh, you, can, uh, you can grind these out. So, curious to see how it goes. Obviously, we'll, uh, we'll make adjustments if, if need be. 
If you have any suggestions, shoot. So there we are. Let me hop back on GME and then I'll show you the reward crystals, a couple. Okay, so let me turn double experience on. Uh, I don't remember this. DXP on? Is, is that, that's the command, right? Uh, so double experience is new. Uh, for the first time ever, you can now get... Uh, yeah, right, 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 right. right. Uh, you can now uh, get double invention experience. Invention experience is doubled, so now if you were one of those... Nice. Nice. So, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Yeah, invention. If you're one of those people that really didn't like invention, wasn't happy with it, um, if you you want to grind it out, double experience is now included. So, double experience is going to be this whole weekend, if you want to get access to that. And then from that point on, it'll just kind of be... I don't know why I clicked that. I'm dumb. And then from that point on, it'll just be random here and there. So there's that. Uh, again, this is the pug point command. Uh, give pug 69. Ha ha, everyone gets pug points. All right, let's, um, and that'll happen, you know, when it happens. Item, um, two, two, eight, one, let's do that, 20. So hopefully we'll get something good. Now these are sort of modeled after your mystery boxes. I just kind of removed the shitty items, like you're not gonna get dragon bones or anything like that. I don't. I hope not. I hope I didn't just set myself up for failure right there. You'll get the better items, as you can see. Dragon massage, bandos boots, bandos. I think these bandos boots are actually pretty rare, so that's kind of funny that we got back to back bandos boots. Varix armor set, dark totem, you get clue pieces. I mean, like everything you get, you're gonna want. Skeletal Visage, that's awesome. That's so very rare. Or not not a very rare. I think that's just a rare. That's yeah, that's really kind of where you're gonna get your your items, is the fact that uh, a lot of those good stuff is actually not very rare, it's just rare. So there's there's I think it's like one in ten for the chance of that. Bond, not bad. Uh, anything else? No, I don't want to open up too many of these because that ruins another video I'm gonna do tomorrow. Haha. -ha. So, uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching. I apologize for my absence, but uh, recently just, it got to a point, like, I, I tried to power through it early May. I, I thought, okay, well, maybe if we just, you know, just power ahead, everything would work out fine. And it just, I, I don't know, I just kind of got to a point in my life where I, I, I didn't want to do anything. And uh, I was real depressed, but since then, uh, Dar John and I have been doing Dark Bow accounts on Old School. You've, you've heard me right. We're doing, we did little Debo Bros. Debo twins, 10 H, like not 10 HP because we're scrubs, but like 20 HP because we, we, you know, we still wanted to try, and it was um, way better than expected. It was a lot of fun, and that's really kind of what um, what really helped me get through get through everything. So we've uh, we've got a new outlook on the game, and I've I've learned a lot in my short time of playing old school again. I've learned a lot. Uh, about about like running running a game and whatnot. Just because if you're familiar with old school right now, they've got they've had a little bit of drama with Rune Light and just a bunch of other things. Um, so I've, I've I've learned a lot from that. I think one of the main things, one of the main issues, was communication and um, customer support. Those are those are the two things I'm noticing are a big problem with old school communication and customer support. And if you look at revival, those are two issues, two big issues we have. Uh, so one of the things that um, we've done to counteract that. One, I'm going to be more, a lot more open and honest about things and how things are going. I'm not going to give any definitive dates because obviously I'm known for delays and, and lying and, and fa false promises and broken promises. So I'm going to try my best to just not make the promise in the first place. Or if I do make the promise in the first place, keep it. I really, uh, really got to keep them. So, uh, yeah. And then John, uh, big boy, is going to be rejoining the server. He's actually going to be our customer customer support admin. So if you have any account related issue, account related issues, not like if you got banned or or if you um, can't play the game or something like that, you can contact me for that. But if you have count issues like you were hacked, you just forgot your password, anything along those lines, PM John on the forums. Oh, there's a reward crystal. He got a demon sword. That's, that's, that's pretty rare. Very nice. On his first one, that's awesome. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys very, very soon. Very, very soon. I'm going to try my best. If not, I, I'm, I'm thinking since daily videos might be hard just because of lack of ideas, I might start streaming more to sort of like any day I can't upload a video, I might do like an hour stream or something like that. And now with Vasa Mess, everybody gets a loot. I'm definitely looking forward to that. That should be interesting. It was actually broken this entire month. Like, I don't think anyone's even been able to do it because when I added that, you know, I was talking about how that t the tablet can break. 
I um I forgot to change the chance of it. So whenever if you did it during that month, you would break pretty much right away. I think it was like a one in one hundred. I think it was like a one in two chance it would happen. So yeah, everybody can actually do it now. So I'm very curious to 